Greetings. Mercury here, your fear-hungry demon overlord. As my flesh suit's day of birth nears, I thought it would be appropriate to make a special video. We have also hit a milestone, 69 subscribers. So, this video will be dedicated to the two events. This Sunday there will be an upload, but do stick around for some sexy thrills and chills. <laughs> the first piece is called Harder. Lilia put it in her mouth. She wrapped her soft lips around it and sucked long and slow. This delighted the man in the mask, who twirled a knife in his hand. Lilia cried, unable to scream as she continued to suck on the broken glass lollipop he gave her. Harder, he cooed as it ripped her tongue and mouth to shreds. <laughs> Not what you were expecting. Let's keep the fire burning. The next one is called Sweet Nothings. The dream was hot, sweet, and passionate. It was actually kind of nice to see her deceased lover again, until she realized she had woken up to the sound of their voice, whispering sweet nothings from the other side of the bed. I guess she won't be lonely anymore. Hope she can get past the smell of rot. The next is actually a poem for all you romantics out there. I call this Dream Girl. Every night I close my eyes, I see my dream girl. She appears in the light of the moon with skin of shining alabaster. Her mouth is the shape of a bow and stain the crimson of a rose. Her eyes watch me with the intensity of a hawk. I can't look away from her and I feel myself fall into the darkness of her eyes. She always embraces me with dark hair like silk against my face. I'm drowning in the scent of her and screaming on the inside. I choke on the very presence of her and can never get away. Her eyes become the night and her lips pull back to show me daggers. Every night she comes to me through the barriers of my mind. She is a siren of the undead, with lips stained red. And for our very last, Peace is another short micro story about a couple. This is called Pieces. Julia left her house in the morning and saw her neighbor watering her lawn. As she unlocked her car, her neighbor called out. Your boyfriend must be a hard worker, she said. He always comes back so late. Yeah, he's always out, she answered, opening the car door. With co-workers, he says. In the back seat, she saw several small sacks rough brown and stained a dark crimson. Now, there was more of him to go around. Well, that's one way to divide your time. <laughs> I want to thank all of you for watching and sticking around. It is my sole goal to bring you terror and unimaginable fear. Quite the feast for me. This week's video will be something a little different, a poetic tale of pain that can surely only end in one way. For more spooks, check out my blog. I post nearly every day, and follow me on Twitter. I love to hear what scares you most in this world. Until Sunday, sweet nightmares.